Oh, hello, Connor. It's Pickle. German, man. This is going to be a good freaking challenge. Freaking boop. That's why I'm here. Boom. I got you. Boom, baby, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen. Woo. Yeah. This promise. It's hard, huh? Mm -mm. <laughs> mit Mayo. Feil Deutschland. Immer Mayo mit, me mit Pommes. The Germans basically told me about mayonnaise with french fries, and now I always eat it, even in America. And all my American friends are like, What are you guys doing? Or what are you doing? And I said, Because Germans do you like Mayo. Mit mit okay. But pickle, no? Why not? Why don't niche? I just don't like it. What? Okay, it's a good reason. Okay, so jetzt zum Kino gehen. Wir schauen auf Deutsch, so das ist gut für mich. Pickle's got a hurt foot, so he's got to like lumber around. He had surgery. Cheer. Castle, 500 years old. Cineplex, we watch movies. I think that's crazy and cool. It's like history, walking amongst it. We're gonna get popcorn too. Ich liebe popcorn. Popcorn is the best. Salz, no salz. Hey, what is your Lieblings? Süß oder Salz? Süß. Ja? Salzig ist schön. Und du? du? Salzig. Salzig. Im Kino nur salzig. Eine Cola, bitte. Bro, look at how big this is. Are you kidding me? Is this how big my head is? See, ungesund. Okay, we need, we need straws. Hast du kurz welche Hunde? Welcome to this week's edition of Cultural Differences, starring Pickle and this random American. Pickle, you can sit here too. But I can also sit there. No, because that's our space. You yeah, have to it sit. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it You're does. So we paid for this one, not for that one. You can take your mask off now? Yeah. Bruh. First movie that I've been to in like three years. I can't get over these cokes. Let me see this coke. I've never seen a cup. I've never seen a cup this big. Isn't that big? Mm. This is niche normal. Doesn't even fit in here. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you. Let me buy you a drink. That's a dope hat. Let's make reading great again. Mm. We got to. Okay, so jetzt wir wir zum uh, Abendessen. Wir fahren nach Abendessen. Wir fahren zum ein Restaurant yeah. für Abendessen. Fürs Abendessen. Yeah. Fürs Abendessen. Yeah. Congratulations, Charlotte. Thank you, you got your Führerschein. Yeah. <laughs> Getting your German driver's license is a big deal. And Charlotte got it today, so we're going to celebrate with a nice steak dinner. Du bist ein Profi jetzt. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Charlotte got a license. Yeah, Charlotte got a license. Yeah, now we driving to steak dinner. Okay, and we eating a steak dinner. Okay, Charlotte got a license. It's really hard to do in Germany. Congratulations. Now we on the Autobahn, no speed limit. Going to get some steaks. I'm eating it. Hey. Hello? Yo, Connor. Yo, what up, Pickle? What are you doing? Just driving in my car, dude. Nice. Perfect. Good kebab, Charlotte. Feel a glückwunsch for getting dein Führerschein. Yeah? Thank you. Good morning. What do you do now? The Okay, das ist das ist verrückt. No. Wie viel? Wie viel in das? Das Wasser. <laughs> Eine Flasche Wasser. One more, one more. 200 Flasche Cola. No. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna no, work. Bro. Easy. Einfach. This is such a German. Mehr Flasche. Oh yeah, Getränke gemacht. <laughs> Wir sind hier jetzt uh, bei, de, bei dem Getränk gemacht. Das ist nur für Getränken, das ist is cool. Literally, you walk in, all there is is drinks. Beer, 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 beer. 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 Good pie? Oh, no, like it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. These are all empty? Yeah. Jeez. Look at all these drinks, bro. Yeah, you go. Beer. Okay. 
every single time I see this, it's so amazing. Like, why don't we have a machine like this? We do not have a machine like this in the US. It just makes too much sense. Well, you know what? We don't have a lot of time. Yeah, you're right. So no. that's what, this way, this way. This way, all the time. But we can't do it. This one's not working. Yeah, not too slow. Not, not too, too fast. Yeah. And these ones put up here, like the hard ones. What about this one? They're going in, yeah. Okay, how come you only have 79 cents? Because I got one out. Oh, you already out? Yeah, because we were too slow. Oh, okay, okay. That's one, no? Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna tell you if not. Okay, okay. You have to have a good timing, you know? Ah, okay. Now. Yeah. Now. Not this one. Saving phaser, bro. Hard rush. No, no, too fast. Yeah. When you see the ones going back, like. Ah, okay, okay, like, okay. Now. 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 Beer, yeah. beer, beer. Mm. No. No. <laughs> That's my spouse. Yeah, I know. If you have the perfect time. Yeah, it's like nice. Yeah. Your turn, your turn, your turn. Do this run. Yeah. Now, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Yeah. That was dope. We just put all the bottles into a machine. It did the reading for us. We got tickets. We brought it to the cashier, and now he gives us cash. We're leaving with pretty much 50 euros. 43. Pretty much 50. <laughs> 40 euros. Now we can go to the grocery store and actually buy a significant amount of food. In America, the exact same amount of bottles, I would leave with less than $10. I was just telling Pickle how happy I am to be back here because this was my grocery store for like six months. Dude, it's like going back to your old school, man. All the aisles are the same. They sell the same food. It looks the same. It just feels good. It smells good. Ah. Hey, get my groceries. I didn't come to the world to be served, but to serve. You know that, you know that one? I heard that before, yeah. We're done. Oh, okay. Downstairs. Okay, oh, yes. My man is here with the with the essence from from uh, not so fast from David. Oh, in David! Has to has to get uh, bezahlen. Yeah, ja, that's it. Yeah, bezahlt. Thank you. Wait, yeah. why why are you saying this? Because he's a friend of mine. He's your friend? Yeah, yeah. Is it really? Yeah, a little bit. This is cool. What's your name? David. David, schön dich kennenzulernen. Thank you for the essence. Thank you. Schön Abend noch, David. David. <laughs> That is dope. That's how you know you live in a small town when the Domino's guy comes up and you're like, yo, what's up, dog? David, David. Shoot his cans to land in David. Un danke for the more too. Hey, one extra? Should I cut that from the video? He doesn't get fired? Wow, that looks so good on the camera. How good that looks. Dang. Yet, via Essen. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Via Essen yet. Via Essen yet. Yeah. And then I say, like, <clears throat> ich will. Oh, I'm dead. Hähnchen. Du willst. Brötchen. Wir. Wollen essen. That means we want food. We want we want to eat. <laughs> good. All right, pickle taught me another new thing today that I didn't know. Yeah. Is, is it on that little it's, it's one? It's on that one too, right there. Ah, okay. So there's every single one who is a farm crusher. There's this little sign right here. I'm gonna wait till the camera focuses on it. Can you focus, please? Just focus, please. Make your hand right next to it. Oh right, yeah, you see that little sign right there with the two cans and the arrow. That means that. Whatever can you're holding is fun flasher. What's mine's fun flasher? I mean, probably like recycle, recycle. recyclable uh, material, something like that. Yeah, so it's equivalent to you can recycle, recycle this. But do your parents teach you to recycle? Because like everyone knows how to recycle here. We do that. We get that. We have that in school. Oh, they teach you in school. Yeah, I think no. like second grade or third grade. Really? Yeah, they teach you like. Wait, they literally like in class. In class. Remember? In class, the teacher's like, "Yo, blow us with us." Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, exactly. And if you don't do it right in school, do they get you in trouble? I mean, you just get a bad grade for that. Oh dang, it's a legitimate class. For probably like three months or something like that. Oh, but no, it's still you learn. Yeah. We do not do that. In the US, there's no way we have like recycling class. Gute für die Deutsche. That's dope. You should get a Bambi award. Uh -huh. What's this? Personal massage? Yes. Okay, this is motherfucking bullshit. Ah. 
Ich krieg keine Luftfeuchtung für Atmen. Atmen. Ich krieg doch keine Luftfeuchtung für Atmen. 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 Scheiße. <lacht> Ah, ah, ah. Ist doch gut, ich krieg doch keine Luft. Hör auf zu reden. Entspann dich, Max, entspann dich. Entspann. Wie viel macht das, Mann? Aber, da was, das ist entspann alles, dich, aber nicht entspann dich. Das ist der einzige Grund, weil ich zulasse, dass ich weiß, dass es hilft. Fuck you. <lacht> Alright, this is like a legitimate, honest ad. I got paid by this company to do this ad. <lacht> And I don't want to do it. But, but like... It's good. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. It's like two in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's almost three. It's like one. Jedes Montag, 4 Uhr, ein neuer Video on dieses Kanal. And if you want to see me and Pickle and whatever else is happening, you can go to my Instagram and I'll post other things. I don't know what I'll post there, but yeah, that'll happen. Gut, danke für ansehen und, und and we'll see you next Monday at 4 o'clock. Yeah. Tschüss. Tschüss. Alright, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, that's good. Alright. These past couple years have been pretty difficult or challenging in a very good way. I've learned so much. And I just wanna share a little bit of wisdom that I've gained from this book right here. It talks about how if you're dwelling in darkness, right? If you feel like you're in chains, and this is all mental, it's not physical. It's like if you have anxiety and struggles and it feels like you're dwelling in darkness, it feels like you are in misery and chains, but guess what? It's clear right here. It says, the Lord satisfies the thirsty soul and the hungry soul he fills with all that is good. There were those who dwelt in darkness and in the shadow of death, prisoners in misery and chains because they had rebelled against the words of God and spurned the counsel of the Most High. It basically means God gives words about how to live the best life. Don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal. You know, all those types of things. A lot of people see them as rules that are mean to put, give to people, but in reality, they're here to help us live the best life. So when we spurn those rules, which I did, and I can speak from such pure experience of reading God's word and then saying, no, I don't want to really do that. That was 2018, 2019 for me. So I did everything I wanted to do, no rules. And guess what happened? After those two years, by the end of them, I was dwelling in misery and chains. I don't know why the Bible's words seem to be true in my life. To me, it's almost as if the Bible is true, but I'm just gonna explain it to you guys. I dwelt in misery and chains because of what I did. But now I don't. In 2021, right now, I am no longer in the misery and chains that were caused from my own actions. And why? The Bible is true again. Oh, this is what happened to me. The next verse, therefore he humbled their heart with labor, they stumbled and there was none to help. God humbled me and people say, why does God humble people? Why does he let bad things happen? A lot of times he lets those things happen so that you could see that you need him. And then people ask the question, why does he do that? That's kind of prideful on his part. Well, there's an enemy too. The devil exists and he is literally there to screw your life up and make you dwell in misery and chains forever. So in order that your eyes are open, God is gracious enough to let you dwell in misery and chains for a few years, but then you realize that you can come back to him and he will rescue you and all good things come from him. So in the next verse, then those that dwell in misery and chains cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distress. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their bands apart. Let these give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. So that's exactly what happened to me. I went away from God's word. I dwelt in misery and chains. I cried out to God. He saved me and now I'm thanking him. And this is an example of that. I'm putting this in my video because I'm thanking him for all he's done, but I'm also sharing with you how you can get out of misery and chains. And there's people, and I don't mind it because you can have your own opinion and it's okay. But people say on, on the, in the comments sometimes, why are you talking about God? 
why are you this or that? Well, number one, it's my channel. I can do what I want, and that's just a fact, right? That's just a fact. It's literally my channel, and I can do what I want. I can run naked through the streets if I want and post it online, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just choosing to talk about God's word. But the reason that I'm talking about it, the real reason why I'm talking about it is because I was freed from misery and chains. And I want to let you guys know how you also can be freed from misery and chains. Legitimately. If you're in anxiety and stress all the time and constantly waking up and I don't want that for you. I don't want that for anyone. I like people. People are nice. I love so many people in this world. I don't want them to be in misery and chains. And I'm just saying I got out of misery and chains by calling out to God. So I just want to give you the option. Honestly, the comments don't really matter. People's opinions don't really matter. In God's word, it says the fear of man or the opinions of man are a snare. It's a trap. If you're always worried about what people say, you're always going to be thinking too much, overthinking. Anyone who's watching this video who's overthinking all the time, just think about what you're thinking about. You're probably thinking about what other people think about you. And that's a trap. That's misery and chains. Other people's thoughts. Imagine. Imagine if right now I was like, oh no. People are gonna comment this. Oh no. I used to do that. I literally used to do that. And I'm addressing the comments because I know that some of you guys read them and you see these people saying, why are you talking about God? And honestly, I'm talking about God because I want you to be free. And I want to give you the option. If you don't want to believe in God, I'm not the type of person to say, you must believe. Seriously. I'm aware that freedom is amazing. Freedom is what you should have. You have the freedom to believe and you have the freedom to not believe. If you don't believe, I don't hold it against you. I'm not you. And I'm not trying to control you. So you can do what you want, but I'm giving people the option. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, this worked for me. If you want to try it out, here it is. That's it. I hope you liked the video. And honestly, these types of things, like me sharing what truly happened in my life, that gets me excited. That gets me excited to share. So I did, and I feel good about it. I have a second channel where I talk only about the Bible. You know, I put this at the end of the videos where I'm learning languages and traveling because I want people to be exposed to it because this channel has more viewers. But I have a second channel and you can look in the description. It's where I talk only about the Bible and I post things that impact me and I hope that they can impact you. So if you want to go to that, you can click the link. I'm not trying to get subscribers. I'm trying to share the truth. That's it. I'm trying to share the truth because God has been good to me, really. He rescued me from death. And when you're on the verge of death, some of you know what that feels like. It doesn't feel good. If you know people who are in that moment, you'll do whatever you can to save them. This is what saved me. It saved my life. I would be the biggest idiot in the world if I knew something that saved my life from death and I didn't share it. So, if you'd like to try it, it is available. If you're ever in a situation where you're like, dang it, man, what do I do with my life? Call on God and just say, God, help me. I don't know what to do. Read his word. Read Proverbs and, and Psalms. Those are good. I'd say Psalms is good when you're in distress, for sure. Because there's so many stories in the Bible where people are in distress and they call out to God and he saves them. That's all. I hope you have a good day, really. Peace.